Art, you sit, sit over there, and I want uh, you to feel comfortable picking up Follow that Amanda. camera. Follow Amanda. Amanda went down Pick there. it up from like right here. Okay. And, and, and Am move I it sitting? around if you feel like you need to, but don't feel obligated. To, okay? yeah. All right. So I mentioned that uh, Ed Leed Scalman was the reason that uh, this all got started for me, because I was really interested in what he had to say about magnetic current. So this was not something that he actually. Uh, showed, but going down one of my many rabbit holes on the internet, I came across this little trick. So, carefully lift that cup, would you? Right or left hand? Uh, just straight up, carefully, because what's underneath hand? it, I want you to see. Okay, any particular hand? I just want you to see. It's not just a trick. Pull it hard. Just straight up. I want you to see this. Right. Okay. Set that on. Now, what do you see there? I see uh, one. I see a shape first and foremost, or quite a few of the same shapes. To be quite frank, is what I see. It's not. A but trick physically, question. yeah, physically. Well, since we're recording, let's get all our thoughts out. <laughs> uh, that way, we can look back and be like, "Oh, maybe he was on to something." Yeah. Well, so physically, I see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bolts or uh, nuts. Uh, that are stacked together by some magnetic field it looks like it's held together by. That's what I see. Very good observation. Yeah, I would have just said I see six nuts, but uh, the thing is, is uh, yeah. they are stacked together. Right. Uh, carefully, if yeah. you wouldn't mind, grab them from the top here and pick them up and show the camera. Any one particular one? I would grab the two top ones together. Just the two top ones together. Together, yeah. All right, All right pick it up. So, so the camera can see that those are together. Yeah, and I, I got. And I don't care if it falls apart too. now. Oh, okay. I don't care if it does, but you can play with it. All right, cool. Wow, that's crazy. That is nuts. Okay. Now put them together just like I had them. Ah, let's see if I can do that. I don't remember the sequence. Do you feel any magnetic? Attraction between those. No, I was those. hoping it was that way I can put it together, but I can't put it together like you had it because it's not gonna mag magnetize. Okay, so I'll let you uh, give it the old college try here. Oh, you want me? This is the. This I, I, is the. I, I'm, this uh, is I'm hoping the, you can make it into the hexagonal shape that I had. But this is the test. Okay, I see. Uh, and you have as much fun with that as you want. I can tell you, you'll never get there with the, way the limited the resources. Uh, resources you have. But I will say this: it was where I first understood about magnetic current. Mm -hmm. What's happening there is that there's a vortex of magnetic energy going through there, and. Uh -huh. There's people who would argue that no, they're domains mm -hmm. of magnetism. <clears throat> but what is actually occurring here is a vortex of magnetic current. This is the only way I can think I can stack these. I'm things. impressed. Yeah, I can stack Dude. these things. Nice. Okay, right, so we're gonna set that now, aside. What, what am I holding here? Okay, so these two steel blocks. I want you just to. Uh, See if they have any, you know, kind of attraction to each other, where they're to going to want to stick together. Uh, Should I keep my fingers away at any no, point? No, you're not. You're not dealing. It's not going to be like <laughs> slam, boo. No, just pop my fingers out of socket and whatnot. All right, uh, not to each other. No, but I noticed like when I picked them up, I don't know if it's the fact that they're really heavy or is they that are. some sort of magnetic field? So it's rolled steel, I was so kind of feel, it's I heavy. don't know the answer to Proven that, that these yeah. have no magnetic attraction to each other. There's nothing special about them. Right. But I'm going to show you with this battery and a wire how we're going to show a magnetic current creating a vortex in these two steel blocks. So. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do not try this at home unsupervised. Should be a professional to do this. We're about to dead short a battery, but it's real quick. So that's all it took. Okay. So I would like to challenge you to separate those two by pulling them apart. Just right, pull. This big art now. Y'all know that, pull. right? That boy Brawley. Y'all can see it. All right, y'all see it. He wants me to pull these apart. And we don't know if I can or not. Yeah, pull them straight so, apart. I'm going to try to pull them. Pull them straight apart. Oh my God. 
Let me uh, let me put another stronger jolt on that. I've yeah. never seen anybody do that. I'm glad I had a big strong person to do that. And that's not rehearsed. Yeah, are you really serious yeah. about those compliments? Yeah, I mean, I've never seen anybody do it. But, uh, it's possible that we've got. I remember, it is King uh, Arthur. We, we possibly have pull, a, a dead battery. I can pull the sword out of the stone. I don't know <laughs> All right, one more time. We're gonna dead short a battery. This is Run. not anything that should be taken lightly. Okay. Now, I'm going. To. Oh yeah. yeah he's got the well, I'm, I'm just gonna make sure that they are so solid. Don't twist. Oh, don't twist. <laughs> okay. The twisting motion Got it. Okay, is well, what I, I breaks up the, the, yes, the magnetic connection. field. Okay, let's try it again. And that's what, so remember, uh, I twisted it. I opened it, and next time I'm not going to twist. We're gonna see yes, we were going to get there because what we needed to show was we are disrupting the magnetic field. That was good, then, that we actually showed. Remember, that. MFD, magnetic field disruption. Don't want to get my fingers pinched in there. All right, one more time. A bit longer, but not enough to interrupt the bat or the wire. Well, try to open it again. Make sure well, it's I'm, I'm usually good. Sure enough. All right, so I'm not going to twist it, but I'm going to just get a good grasp on it. See, I'm I want twisted. people to see that that is pretty well That's held together. That is a vortex of magnetic current. Wow. That's, that's nice. holding those two pieces of steel together. Yeah, that's pretty good. And if the steel had a better finish, to you know, a oh, nicer yeah. polish to the yeah, surface, that makes it, it. it would be a far more uh, important, you know, type of grasp. Now, so. what's the reason behind that, sir? Okay, so very few people can explain it. I am not one of them. Okay. However. This is definitely something that does show a magnetic field disruption when you go ahead and twist that. Show him okay. separating Well, and, and I, my theory on it is the finish, it opens more oh. of the magnet. I mean, the, the actual metal that actually draws the... The, the bond is stronger, the, yeah. absolutely. I, right. I do know that. Now, go ahead and twist that. Just twist it. Go ahead and twist it, it and, and show how easy it is to separate. Yeah, it's easy. And if you rotate them around 180 degrees of each other, it sort of helps it lose any additional magnetic uh, attraction. Oh, completely. Wonder why. So that. That's crazy. You're uh, you're basically disrupting that vortex, <sighs> and so vortex. those those domains, as most people will refer to them, uh, are now pretty scrambled. So mm. anyway, so I managed to do the six hex nuts using the same. Uh, method. Right. If you all would like to see that real quick, let yeah. me put these on. That's how he knew I could now wouldn't even be able to attempt to stack that the way he did. Before. Yes. If you guys are not following out there on TV land. Or so, I have a piece of wood with a hole drilled in the center, and this is just so I can build a hexagonal shape with these. Camera's picking up. Okay, so a real quick tap once again. Don't do this at home, kids. To the, to towards me. Okay, so I'm. Yep, okay. I've already got them pretty well established. So now I'm holding it. Can you see as I slide it down? Oh, and that's and I shake. And then I'm gonna take <laughs> pick by two. Yeah. Yeah, there it was again with back ass square zero. Now we this created another magnetic vortex. Nice. And then when you, yeah, when you twist them, it disrupts the vortex. And they're no longer magnetized. So there you have it. Thank no. you for, uh, yeah, joining me with that. And thank you for being our cameraman. Right now, the check better be in the mail. 